dogs are the best. You so you don't have any cats, right? No cats. I can't do cats. So, no, no allergies, huh? Allergies is the biggest thing. The second thing is eh, they're just assholes. Really? Generally speaking, I've met. Uh, I'm too man. jumpy for cats. Like you got to put a bell on it. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I've met two, like uh, maybe two or three chill cats in my life, and maybe it's just the cats I'm meeting. I don't know. But my experience <laughs> overall has been like, nah. I think dogs is where it's at. You know what trips me out most about cats? Like and subscribe. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> is uh, sometimes when you pet a cat, like he'll just freak out and start scratching you and biting your hand and shit. I can't have that. Like out of the blue. And yeah. not like in a in a loving kind of <clears throat> I'm just screwing around. Like sometimes your dog does that, but it's never like like abrupt and right. just out of the blue. Like, ah, yeah, get the get off me. Right. That shit feels hella good. I'ma scratch your ass. Yeah. Right. That's how <laughs> yeah. cats are. It's like, whoa, yeah. get this damn thing away from me. <laughs> that that exact thing right there has happened more often than not, where I'm just I mean, yeah. and then the allergies on top of that, it's just I mean, sometimes I'll be sitting there petting a the cat and it just freaks out and it acts like it wants to attack you. And it's like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Chill, whoa. bro. Get out of here. Yeah. And dogs are pretty much the complete opposite of that. Oh, yeah. In my oh, yeah. experience. So. And they do shit for us. You know? Yeah. Yeah. As far as, you do know. They? They, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't mean like, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, you know, they help blind people and shit. You know? Right. Like, around with them or handicap. Can, can you have an emotional support cat? You probably can. Emotional support, but I mean if you're blind and you and you need your cat to guide you somewhere, it's, it's not going to happen. No. They got dogs that'll come like like dogs can smell the coronavirus. Fool. Yeah, it's crazy. And, and people when I forget what airport it is, somewhere in Europe, they use dogs like when you get off the plane, the dog comes yep. and sniff, sniffs your ass yeah. to see if you have the coronavirus. <laughs> Got one. Yeah. <laughs> the whole plane's quarantined. That's pretty wild though that they can detect that. They sniff they, they can they, they, oh I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm just thinking, how do they even know that a dog can detect specifically coronavirus? What, they, what I was gonna say is um a few years back, they've determined that dogs can de- can smell cancer, fool. What? Yeah. Google that shit. Damn. Okay, Google, can dogs uh, detect cancer? Dogs have an incredibly sensitive sense of oh. smell that can detect the odor signatures of various types of cancer. Among others, they can detect colon cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, and melanoma by sniffing people's skin, bodily fluids, or breath. Holy shit. A, holy shit, and B, if she would have said by sniffing their asses, I would have lost it. Well, that's how they do the colon cancer. I mean, come <laughs> on. <laughs> no, that's pretty crazy, though, that they can, that, I guess maybe they would have to, you know, train it, train them individually. I don't, I don't understand. No, it's, not even, it's not even like that. They, they, they give them, they give them a, a vial full of cancer. They sniff it. And then they, you know. Go get it. <laughs> Go get right. that. Yeah. Damn. Like, you know. But just wild, fool. Like, imagine if you could smell that good. <laughs> yeah. I, would be, I would be like running away from everybody. And it just goes to prove the point how utterly useless cats are. In, yeah, okay. in my opinion, when it comes to that. I mean, yeah. You ever, like, I had the cat sit for somebody. Mm. Um, they went out of town. They're like, yeah, can you watch my cat? And I was like, yeah, I'll come by and watch the cat. Because I don't I'm a, I don't mind cats. I think they're cool. Um, they just, I'll, they're they're annoying. That's all. They're I'll just, give every, I'll let you finish the story, but I'll, I'll uh, I give every cat a chance. You know, it's like, <laughs> right. are, you, are you probably an asshole, but let's find out, you know? Right, right. There you go. And but, sometimes they get through, but yeah, go ahead. No, so, um, where was I at? Oh, yeah. So he, you know, can you watch my cat? Sure, I'll watch your cat. And, I would come by to feed it, you know, so nobody would be there all day. And I get there about 7 PM Mm -hmm. feed the cat. But as soon as you walk in the door, when it's time for a cat to be fed and it hasn't been fed in a long time, you'll, you'll think about killing that cat because of the round round and they're (laughs) kind of going around in a circle and they're just like, dude, feed me now, feed me now. Come on. And it never stops until you, put the food in the bag like you can't even get in the house and be like oh i'm gonna go take a piss 
nah, <laughs> you got to feed the cat first because it, it is relentless. Damn. And yeah. It, if you've ever experienced it, cat people, let them know, you know? Yeah. No, I, I have seen that before. That's, and it's pretty crazy. Sometimes I'm like, I wonder if my dog's even hungry and shit. Yeah, the dog, you know? like, whatever. Master's going to feed me. Look at Master. He's so beautiful over there. Get, <laughs> yeah, he'll stare. get to it when he gets to it. He's got to do a podcast. Just staring at you like, wow, look at that guy. He is beautiful. I wish he would touch <laughs> me right now. Look at my Master. Isn't he great? I think I'm going to go to sleep right now. You know? Look at him. Look at my master. Keep wow. going with it. <laughs> He's so smart. Anyway. I think that's pretty accurate. That's how they look at you. You know, you glance over at your dog and he's looking right at you like, wow. Oh, he's looking at me. You're beautiful, master. You're beautiful. <laughs> Come touch me, please. <laughs> Put your paws on me. You know? Cat's the complete opposite. <laughs> Cat's like, yeah, come on, pet me. I dare you. <laughs> feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me. Feed me, feed me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about all that. I, uh, one last little thing on cats. I had... um. Back in the day, I was dating this girl that had a cat. And in the uh, apartment I was in, there was like a, a wall. Just like, you know, the thickness of a wall, but it kind of stuck out. Mm -hmm. And the cat would fucking lose its shit all the time. Run in circles and then run up that section of wall and grab it with its claws and just slide all the way down. And then run in circles again, run up that wall, grab it, claw its way down. Wow. And yeah, that's one of the most uh, psycho cat experiences I've ever had. Just like, whoa, like, I don't know what to do with this thing, but. Uh, that's another thing they do. Like they're stealth and they, I'm, I'm too jumpy for that. Like yeah. you'll be sitting on the couch and. Phew, to jump right on the couch. <laughs> whoa. Ah. Hi. Is it going to gonna kill me? And they start licking their feet. Have you seen the hairball experience? Have I you haven't. I haven't. Oh, man. Sounds like they're about to die before they cough up a head, hairball. <laughs> you know, they start, ah. <laughs> anyway, enough with the cat. Yeah, sounds like a nightmare. <laughs>